southern Tunisia. This remote, barren landscape is in vast contrast to the popular, tourist-filled coastal resorts of the north and the busy capital city of Tunis. But beneath this rock and sand may lie the key to Tunisia's future energy needs, and plans are already underway to unlock it. This is going to be really a great opportunity to develop the country and also to develop uh, OMV's activities in Tunisia. This is one of the biggest drivers for the economic growth in Tunisia. In 2006, exploration of the Nawara region discovered large quantities of natural gas four kilometers below the surface, estimated to be the equivalent of approximately 64 million barrels of oil. Now, eight years later, an historic partnership between OMV and ETAP, Tunisia's state-owned energy company, has paved the way to extract the gas marking a significant shift in the way Tunisia will meet its energy needs. And this project is important because all the gas will be used domestically and it'll help reduce their dependency on, on others for the energy needs of the country. For the country, uh, this pipe, uh, it's very important because uh, it will be good infrastructure. Some, uh, some people, they, they call it the umbilical of the country. The project comprises of three main components. A central processing facility built in the desert, a 370-kilometer pipeline, and a gas treatment plant, which will be built on the outskirts of Garbez. It's a huge undertaking, which has taken years of planning. When we finally signed the contract in August, it was a very good moment. That was the target of months and months of work, and it was a very good feeling. We are now in what we call engineering phase. Once the schedule is approved and frozen, that's the parameter toward which we measure uh, the progress. Uh, working on something like this, such a big project, which is, by the way, the biggest project in Tunisia as of now, it's uh, challenging. Construction on site has yet to begin, but one of the biggest challenges is going to be building the CPF in such a remote location. If you consider the challenges in the project, the CPF is located in a very remote area. It's really like landing on the moon, so nothing is there, everything has to be brought there. Due to this remote character of the plot, the main risk is uh, connected with logistics. We're going to have thousands of truckloads of material. The pipe alone is about 3,500 truckloads. So that poses a logistics challenge because there's really only one main road. We have the challenge of sandstorms throughout the year. We have challenges of rain down there throughout the year. And anytime you have a sandstorm or rain, the conditions of the road deteriorates by at least 50%. So we have to maintain and keep that road open for transportation on a daily basis. Another challenge for OMV and ETAP will be laying the 370 kilometers of pipeline negotiating roads, railways, and areas of habitation, paying attention to the environmental and social impact. We need to execute this project with zero incident, and we need to guarantee and to be confident that we can operate our plant safely. So no harm to people, no harm to environment, no harm to assets. Here we, we follow the best industry and worldwide practices, including the ethics, including the code of conduct. Experience has shown that the earlier you engage people, you consult them, you be uh, transparent, you will reduce all the social tension and social, let's say, blockages. So we have to be a good neighbors for those uh, communities. They have to see us as an opportunity. I'm confident that we've done our homework in that and I'm happy that really we respected any uh, social or environmental consideration on that, on that way.